Hi, I'm Daniel from Ratings.com. This is number five in our series of weekly updates to help you choose the best products. This week, we are beginning a long-term burn-in test with three TVs of different panel technologies to see how they compare. In this video, we'll go over the test methodology and what we aim to investigate. Many of you have sent us messages or emails because you're concerned about the long-term performance of your new TV, especially when watching content with some static images, such as network logos, or for video games with a fixed interface. We already test for temporary image retention on TVs, which generally subsides over the course of a few minutes. Both OLED and LCD TVs may suffer from temporary image retention. Permanent image retention is a more serious issue, but it requires looking at the performance of a TV over the course of months or even years. We will be performing a long-term test of three TVs to see how the image changes over time with very heavy use. These are the OLED LG B6, the VA Samsung KU6300, and the IPS LG UJ6300. We will be playing this test clip on them 24 hours a day. Each week we will turn off the TVs and perform the clear panel noise function on the OLED. We will measure the peak brightness and color gamma, as well as taking a photo of the screen to analyze for any retention or degradation. We will be performing this test over a year and regularly post updates in an article. You can find a link to it in the description below. We have designed this test pattern to mix static content and moving images to try and represent some typical material. We have added watermark logos at different opacity to show different static areas that may be present. For example, a 50% opacity logo for a network icon and a solid logo to represent the effect of a static heads up display in a game. Of course, this is much more demanding than what most people would experience if the TV is only in use for a few hours per day and can be considered a worst case scenario as we are running the test continuously to get a faster result. It will still be useful to show the differences between technologies as well as to provide an indication of the lifespan or number of expected hours. So that's it. If you've got any questions or comments, leave them down below. And if you like what we're doing, subscribe to the channel. See you next time.